Hello guys, this is Sonu and today I am going to discuss about antibiotic. In last time I discussed about the antimicrobial drug. That was the, that the, in the antimicrobial drug I discussed about that before the start the antimicrobial, any antimicrobial drug, what is the main characteristic, what is the main criteria we have to do. And one thing also uh, I will repeat that all antibiotic can be antimicrobial but not all antimicrobial may be the antibiotic. Why? Because microorganism can be different types. Any drug which kill the microorganism, we can say that is th this drug is the belong to the antimicrobial drug. But microorganism can be different. Bacteria is also microorganism, virus is also microorganism, fungus, helminthes, protozoa, parasite, they all are the microorganism. So it's depend upon the which types of microorganism killing by the which types of antimicrobial drug. Means if the antibiotic so it means this antibiotic is killing the bacteria so this is the antibiotic if any drug which kill the fungus microorganism so that is the antifungal like that we can divide it that's why always remember that all antimicrobial will not antibiotic but all antibiotic can be antimicrobial that is the very confusion and very important to remember so today we will discuss about the antibiotic because the percentage of the microorganism anti uh, bacteria is the very very high than the other micro other microorganism that's why first we should uh, discuss about the antibiotic because the bacteria is the very very high and you know worldwide the bacterial disease is the very very high that's why first we should know about the antibiotic as we know also that antibiotic antibiotic is the very very huge material a lot of antibiotic is there so we will discuss about the one by one so first of all what is the antibiotic Antibiotic, we can say it is the drug or it is the substance which is obtained by the microorganism or we can say which, uh, it can be obtained by the plant, some animal tissue or maybe semi-synthetic or synthetic compound or synthetic analogous which is suppressed or which is interrupt the bacterial cell wall or we can say it can kill the bacteria or it can suppress the uh, bacterial growth. That is the antibiotic. So let's some a brief discussion about the anti uh, the basic theory of the antibiotic. As I said in the last time also that antibiotic is depend upon two types. First of all, according to the spectrum. So a spectrum and the action. Action. What is the spectrum? A spectrum is further divided into two parts. That is the narrow and wide or also also we can say that is the uh, mainly narrow and the wide spectrum then action action is subdivided also in two parts that is the cedal and the stasis means the bacteria cedal and bacteria stasis bacteria cedal means that it this drug which belongs to the bacteria cedal that is the kill the bacteria completely kill the destroy the bacteria Latch, lactic effect bacterial lactic and the stasis means that it inhibit the bacterial synthesis. It will not kill, it will just suppress the bacterial synthesis. Means maybe after the decrease or after the completely uh, end of the uh, drug action, maybe can bacteria again will grow. That was the, the very potent the bacteria, or very good the bacteria because it's killing the bacteria. Uh, it can uh, lactic effect, bacterial lactic, destroying the bacteria. So these are the main basic theory of the antibiotic. Now let's discuss about the drug name. First we will discuss about today anti uh, beta lactam. We have lot of drug which belong to the antibiotic such as again uh, today I, am, uh, I will discuss about the beta lactam. So first beta lactam, aminoglycoside, macrolides, tetracycline, chromphenicol, and uh, fluoroquinolone and uh, so and so on. Lot of antibiotic group. But first we will discuss about the which, uh, that antibiotic which is the now it is be, uh, used very very widely and from the past from the history till the now they are using well and still they are very very sensitive to the particular bacteria that is the penicillin that's why the name is the beta lactam beta lactam what is the beta lactam let's some discuss about the chemical structure so this is the ring and this is the lactam ring this one is the lactam ring that is the name is the beta lactam. In the beta lactam, we have penicillin group. As we all know that the penicillin is the very very popular drug still, and it was the starting the very very few years ago, like 
1941 that is the first uh, obtained the penicillin drug then cephalosporin cephalosporin is the we can say that cephalosporin is the nowadays in any microbial drug most probably we use cephalosporin always without cephalosporin mostly we use always some contraindication maybe we will not use but always we use cephalosporin in any microbial drug any uh, bacterial drug sorry i mean any bacterial organism microorganism then monobactam and the carbapenem the monobactam and the carbapenem this two drug is the not widely used but this drug is the very we can say exception cases whenever the pen penicillin group of cephalosporin group is the not working some bacteria some special bacteria on the time we use monobactam and carbapenem we will discuss later but just you know that in the beta lactam we have penicillin group cephalosporin monobactam and carbapenem this four group of the drug which belong to the beta lactam so right now we'll discuss first of all discuss about the penicillin group then we'll further move each by in individually dr drug in a penicillin group first is the we on the uh, by self the penicillin that is the penicillin g and penicillin v then procan penicillin benzathan penicillin in the benzathan penicillin bacilli 1 3 and 5 we can also uh, again subdivided into two part that is the penicillin g and v is the short acting and the procan and benzathan is the long acting like that we can divide after that penicillinase resistance penicillin penicillinase aac last word is aac that is the enzyme actually this enzyme which secrete within the bacteria means this secrete by the bacteria and this enzyme is the we can say for the human or for the drug is the very toxic or we can say very dangerous why because this enzyme is the destroy this ring and whenever beta lactam ring will destroy drug will not work or drug will not too much efficacy it will not show too much efficacy that's why the special drug which is the resistance or we can say protect this ring that was the name penicillinase resistance penicillin don't be confused that is a penicillin enzyme that is the penicillin drug that is the and this group of the drug that is a methicillin cloxacillin dicloxacillin or uh, you can also think oxacillin so these are the special drug that is the mainly for the any bacteria we'll discuss about the penicillin later that what is the penicillin because the, due to this enzyme lot of drug is resistance that is the drug resistance the biggest problem nowadays due to this enzyme because this enzyme is the uh, secreted by the bacteria and this enzyme will destroy the beta lactam ring and drug will not efficacy after that last one is the extended spectrum penicillin as extended spectrum penicillin we can say that is a broad spectrum this type of drug we use mainly whenever we don't know the exact what is the which types of bacteria is the in the patient self we don't exactly the bacteria name the patient self bacterial disease but we don't know exact bacteria on the time we use extended spectrum penicillin in the in this group we have different types of drug we'll discuss later but first we'll discuss about the penicillin because the all mechanism or we can say uh, most probably side effects indication mostly the same so the main uh, penicillin first we'll discuss about the about the main penicillin then we'll move uh, further so let's discuss about the penicillin penicillin g and penicillin v penicillin g is the natural penicillin even all are the natural penicillin but what is the main difference between penicillin g and then the rest of the so uh, we can different here that penicillin g that is the uh, uh, different and the pe um, penicillin v procan penicillin benzathan penicillin what is the main difference and the rest are the same the main difference is the that penicillin g is the heat uh, uh, sorry acid liable means the in a stomach if we use orally the uh, in the acid it can destroy and it will not work that's why penicillin g always use parenteral like intra venous or intra muscular not your orally that is the main difference and penicillin v procan penicillin benzathan penicillin is the acid stable means the it can use orally or it can use also parenterally no problem 
that is the main difference about and the rest are the, the same so let's first dis uh, discuss about the penicillin about the history if you talk about the history so in the 1941 or 1940 it first synthesized first obtained from the fungus that is the penicillinum notatum that is the fungus name and from that time uh, still they are using for the some uh, specific bacteria or we can say this some of the bacteria is the drug of the choice so let's first of all talk about the pharmacokinetic pharmacokinetic first of all as i said that the penicillin g we can write the shortcut name penicillin g it is the acid liable means it can destroy in the acid that's why we use mainly im or iv after that about the excretion about the metabolism is the very very uh, we can say uh, fast metabolism because that's very short acting and uh, it's a uh, mainly excreted by the tubular secretion tubular secretion it's a not very poor uh, penetrate blood brain barrier and it can also uh, cross the placental barrier but it's not uh, harmful it's not toxic effect can be seen or it can also uh, came in the it, it will come in the breastfeeding milk breast milk so obviously uh, penetrate placental barrier but as i said that it's not harmful not harmful after that about the metabolization and the excretion as i said that it's a metabolized mainly by the tubular secretion but some of the drug can be interrupt the metabolism one drug that is the probanosid probanosid it is the uh, this drug it is the uh, used for the gout that is the it this drug is helpful the secretion of the uric acid so this drug can be slow or can be inhibit the metabolism of the uh, penicillin so and the rest of the the same and this uh, pharmacokinetic for the all drug all the same just one difference what that penicillin g is the acid liable and penicillin v broken penicillin benzathione penicillin is the acid as stable that is the main difference and the, everything is the same Procaine penicillin. Procaine penicillin, you can suspect, uh, you can think about the procaine. Procaine, what is the procaine? Procaine is the local anesthetic drug. It is the ester drug. Why the procaine ate in the penicillin? Because the penicillin is the very, very painful uh, drug. It, if you give the uh, intravascular, it's a very, very painful. So due to the inhibit or uh, due to the decrease the pain we add the procaine that's for procaine penicillin procaine pe if you give the procaine penicillin it will not too much painful because the pro procaine is the uh, anesthesia so if you give it to uh, with the procaine so it will anesthetize the particular area where is the given the injection so it will not too much painful then benzathione penicillin is the same like the penicillin just uh, structurally uh, little bit the change the structure because it's a long acting that is the bicillin 1 3 and 5 what is the basin one what is the basin three and what is the basin five they all is the same that is just the concentration of the different basin one for the one month this is the for one month one month three is the three month the easy to remember and five for the six month so as a prophylactic usage because some of the disease like the rheumatic fever bacterial endocarditis we'll discuss about later about when we discuss about indication so if the any person mainly it's like the if you example for the baby so baby have pharyngitis because the rheumatic fever is developed in the staphylococcus beta hemolyticus staphylococcus bacteria so if they suspect the pharyngitis so you can we can give the bicillin because bicillin one if you give so it will care the uh, one month action of the one month we give three to six months and if some person have allergic reaction or maybe they were sensitive to the pharyngitis so we can give bicillin five for the six months so twice a year it will be useful
We'll discuss about later. Uh, uh, about when we we'll discuss about the indication. So these are the pharmacokinetic. Now let's uh, discuss about okay, penicillin resistance. Uh, penicillin about the pharmacokinetic the same. But what is the main difference? Again, acid a stable. And one thing also about the uh, this thing that it should be used. It should be uh, give impetus stomach. Impetus stomach. So if if uh, even we can give after the meal, but if we will give the uh, impetus stomach, it will good absorb and, and it will good. Uh, the action become the good. That's why should be give impetus stomach. And about the rest out the the same. Uh, it can excretion by the tubular secretion. Uh, it can also poor uh, blood brain barrier penetration. The central also penetrate but not uh, harmful. And the prevalence it can also inhibit the uh, excretion or we can say metabolization. Okay. So now the very important thing that is the mechanism of the action that how it can kill the bacteria. As I said that the as, uh, action of the Antibiotic, the two types, bactericidal and bacterial statis, bactericidal and bacterial statis. So the beta-lactam antibiotic, all beta-lactam antibiotic is the bactericidal action, means it should kill the bacteria. So mechanism of action. First of all, so let's make here two bacteria. That is the two plasma membrane here, lipid membrane of the bacteria. After that, this is the peptidoglycan. Here also peptidoglycan, but here is the outer layer. That is the lipopolysaccharide. So if the bacteria have two layer. We can suspect this is a gram negative bacteria. So it's a gram negative bacteria. And here is the no extra outer layer. So it's a gram positive bacteria. Only peptidoglycan layer is there. That's why the more peptidoglycan. Now we'll discuss about that how drug is the influence the bacterial cell structure. How it's a kill the bacteria, first of all. So as you remember that between the this peptidoglycan, there is the linkage linkage here that linkage is the this is the linkage 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 the, this linkage is the transpeptidase this name of the linkage transpeptidase transpeptidase what is the transpeptidase transpeptidase that is the enzyme which is main role of the transpeptidase main uh, function of the transpeptidase this transpeptidase is the bound to the two peptidoglycan layer between the each each peptidoglycan layer means like this is the peptidoglycan layer and this marker for example this marker like that they are uh, binding with the one peptidoglycan layer to the uh, another peptidoglycan uh, layer that it will not break down to prevent the breakdown because if the transpeptidase will not help to uh, bonding of the two peptidoglycan layer so it will not we can say it will not uh, bind to each other and it will destroy and bacteria can be dry because the inside that it's a hyperosmotic so it can be swell and crushed so now will how penicillin how all beta lactam the mechanism of the same for the all beta lactam group so how the beta lactam drug will interrupt this area first of all it will bind to the penicillin binding protein now we'll totally confuse, usually we totally confuse that the drug name is the penicillin and it's a binding in a penicillin binding protein in the bacteria. How? Because the penicillin is the, it's a drug. It's not synthesized over the body. It's a, uh, we eat the drug and then it will go inside the um, blood and then where is the bacteria is there, their bacteria will kill. But this drug will bind in the bacteria and the binding protein name is the penicillin binding protein which is situated in the bacteria. So what is the penicillin binding protein? Penicillin binding protein, or we can say 
the synonym name or other name of the transpeptidase. The other name or synonym now we can say transpeptidase. So transpeptidase also we can say penicillin binding protein. Now you can understand that penicillin binding protein will bind to here because it's a obviously another name of the penicillin binding protein. And then interrupt or we can say inhibit of the function of the transpeptidase. And as I said that if the transpeptidase will not work or it will not help the all peptidoglycan layer will destroy or will separate to the each other. It will not, we can see the unity of the uh, peptidoglycan will not occur. And what will occur? After that, the all cell wall become deficient, cell wall deficient, and it can lead to the, all, the inner, layer, inner layer of the bacteria will swell and it can be brushed. And finally, eventually it will be di uh, die the bacteria, bacteriocidal action. So, Penicillin binding protein, we can say it is a bacterial enzyme along with the transpeptidase, some other also enzyme to take part to the synthesize, uh, we can say help to the maintain the peptidoglycan layer, but main is the transpeptidase. And why the penicillin is the, it, it's not bind to our cell, why the bind the bacteria, because of the Penicillin binding, or we can say transpeptidase, the main uh, mainly it's a found in the bacteria, and and except the bacteria, it will not find to any other animal organs, any any other animals such as humans and animals and some other organs. Only is find to the bacteria. That is the that uh, we can say that penicillin usually uh, harmful for the bacteria, not for the us, not for the human normal cell. I'm not talking about the uh, side effect. Side effect is a different thing. It means we can say why it's not uh, killing our cell, why it's killing the bacteria because of transpeptidase and transpeptidase will not find in the our human body and some other animal body, only found in the uh, bacteria. That is the one of the typical or we can say uh, first uh, primary uh, mechanism of the bacteriocidal that why it's kill the bacteria. And second thing, the chemical structure of the penicillin and the transpeptidase is the similar. That is the second thing to bind to the penicillin binding protein and kill the bacteria. Again, I will repeat that transpeptidase, let's talk about here in a bigger size. Because mechanism action, all beta lactam is the same, that's very important. Let's, this is a small bacteria and this is the transpeptidase. So this linkage, that is the transpeptidase. This is, sorry, it's the pep pep peptidoglycan. This is the transpeptidase. Or other name is the penicillin binding protein. So if we will destroy or we will inhibit by the drug, so it will now not will separate. It, it's a different and it's a different. So it will not, uh, we can say unity of the peptidoglycan will destroy. And what will it? The uh, separate of the all peptidoglycan layer and uh, inside the bacteria, it is the hyperosmotic. So it will swell, 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 and it will finally eventually destroy or we can say kill or die. That is the main mechanism. The same thing here in a gram negative bacteria, but even it's a more, we can say protective. Why? Because it have another lipopolysaccharide. In the gram positive bacteria, no any other extra uh, layer. So any drug can be killed, means penicillin, uh, penicillin drug is the very bulky molecule. So it cannot penetrate in the, we can say, gram-negative bacteria because it have outer layer. And here is the very, very small porin, very, very small porin. So some very, very, we can say, active drug or we can say very, very um, good drug can be penetrated in the gram-negative bacteria. Because good drug can be killed, even uh, the penicillin, as, a, as I said, the penicillin is a bulky drug. It's a molecule, it's a very bulky, very big molecule. And even in a big molecule can be killed the gram-positive bacteria. Why? Because it don't have extra layer. So it will uh, easy to penetrate and kill the bacteria. But if you talk about the gram-negative bacteria, gram-negative bacteria have outer cell wall and a very, very uh, small porins. So the, huge amount of the huge molecule or we can say big molecule of the drug 
cannot penetrate this gram negative bacteria that's why usually penicillin is a resistance or if penicillin is not working in a gram negative bacteria most probably some of the gram negative bacteria can be worked that is the exception but most probably it will not work we use the we can say very active drug or very smart drug so these are the main mechanism and one thing also the another mechanism that uh, the all bacteria for example this is the bacteria this is the layer have they all have autolysine for, for example this is the autolysine autolysine what is the autolysine means for the new synthesis of the bacterial layer new synthesis of the we can say peptidoglycan layer so it will the old old one of the peptidoglycan old one the bacterial cell wall is the destroying by cell so whenever it will old it will destroy auto auto destroy also auto destruction because auto lysine means the destruction auto destruction and then again new synthesis of the uh, peptidoglycan layer means the bacterial cell wall so this is the auto lysine so one is the binding to the penicillin binding protein and inhibiting or destroying the peptidoglycan layer and another side is also inhibiting the auto lysine function of the bacteria so inhibiting 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 so one side it's a uh, we can say destroying the peptidoglycan layer and on uh, another side due to inhibition of the autolysin again it's a destroying because autolysin the main function it's a uh, synthesis of the new cell wall old 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 one is the destroying automatically and new new one the synthesizing but due to inhibition of the autolysin it also again to become we, we can say for the bacteria is the more and more worse and it can lead to finally death so two mechanism but first is the main is the penicillin binding protein so that is the main mechanism of the action for the all beta lactam not uh, particularly about the penicillin now let's discuss about the which types of bacteria is the sensitive then we can suspect about the indication so let's talk about first of all in indication but before indication i will talk about the bacteria Cocci bacteria for the penicillin, cocci, like a streptococci, a streptococci, gonococci, or Neisseria. Neisseria means that is Neisseria gonorrhea, or pneumococci. Then bacilli. Bacilli such as anthrax, bacillus anthrax, then coronabacterium diphtheriae, coronabacterium diphtheriae. After that, uh, we can suspect the colostridium, the all group colostridium, tetany, colostridium, botulism, colostridium, uh, gas gangrene that is the difficult, I mean, uh, perforanges, colostridium. After that, uh, Listeria, then uh, Actinomyces israeli, that is the again bacteria name. Actinomyosis, don't be confused with the meiosis, that is a fungus, it's a bacteria. Israeli, and the next one is the Aspirochetes, that is the drug of the choice. Nowadays, if we talk about the main using of the nowadays, the drug mainly for the drug of the choice that is a spirochete a spirochete a spirochete that is the first disease that is a trypanoma platinum the main causative agent of the syphilis then uh, trypanoma platinum and uh, after that listeria This area, there is two disease is the most common for the spirochete. After that, uh, that is the main we can say bacterial which is the more more sensitive for the penicillin. And from here we can suspect about the indication, the main indication. So let's first about the cocci. About the cocci. 
Let's see what the streptococci. So first, that is the pharyngitis. Then, otitis media. Otitis media. That is the inflammation in the ear, middle ear. After that, rheumatic fever. Why rheumatic fever? Because the main causative agent of the rheumatic fever that is the beta hemolyticus streptococci. In this bacteria, it can lead, it's autoimmune disease, but the primary initiation of the by the bacteria that's why rheumatic fever. Then, uh, bacterial endocarditis, bacterial endocarditis. After that, scarlet fever, that is the same. Scarlet fever. As I said, that the, for the prophylactic use, for the prophylactic use, mainly we use uh, bacillin 135 because rheumatic fever and bacterial endocarditis. Even during the disease, also we can use, but for the any person who suspect pharyngitis. Because approximately three and four percent of the people, out of the all people in a three and four percent of the people, we will suspect or will add, uh, suffer from the rheumatic fever. Because every person can get pharyngitis, but not all person can be get rheumatic fever and some autoimmune disease. But we don't know also that which person can be get uh, rheumatic fever. For example, if if I uh, I will get I suffer from pharyngitis, so I should take the prophylactic use as a prophylactic use the penicillin maybe the out of the third person the the third person of the maybe may i and i can also suffer the rheumatic fever that's why for the prophylactic use for the further save the any diseases use the penicillin and scarlet fever the same thing about this are the cocci after that uh, in the cocci have a streptococci streptococci then uh, pneumococci and neisseria about the uh, Neisseria, Pneumococci, usually we don't use, we don't use due to the resistance, but if the organism is the sensitive, we can use in a high doses, but mainly we use in this disease. This is the known we can drug of the choice, so we have obviously a lot of antibiotics, so we have another antibiotic to use, but if the drug is the sensitive, we can use. After that, bacillus. In the bacillus, which bacteria? Anthrax. Then, uh, uh, coronabacterium diphtheria. So, in the diphtheria, then gas gangrene. Gas yes, gangrene that is the colostodium perfringens, so we can use as a uh, we can say uh, the it's anti antibiotic and this is the anaerobic antibiotic, so this is the good sensitive and uh, we can say drug of the choice. After that, we can also use the anthrax. Then uh, another one is the uh, spirochete. Spirochete, as I said, this is the main drug of the choice. So first of all, the main huge disease or common disease is the syphilis. Syphilis, that is the uh, primary and secondary. Primary and secondary syphilis. That is the main we can say drug of the choice. In this condition, mainly use uh, broken penicillin and benzathione penicillin. Also, we can use penicillin G, but usually we use broken penicillin and benzathione penicillin. Then, and one thing also forget to mention that is that it's a narrow spectrum. This all this all drug is the narrow spectrum. That's why side effect is a very very low due to the narrow spectrum. And penicillin resistance, even we can say it's a ultra short. Ultra short. 
that's why this drug is the not uh, work in all types of uh, bacteria only those bacteria which re release the penicillin is and ex uh, except uh, uh, not except we can say that the mainly the staphylococcal because the staphylo uh, the penicillin uh, the penicillin enzyme will release some negative bacteria gram negative and some positive bacteria but mainly the staphylococcal uh, bacteria which release the penicillin that whatever the disease of the staphylococcal bacteria from that disease this drug is the most useful that, that's why it's ultra short acting due to this reason after that uh, diphtheria tetanus also we can use because the same thing tetanus colostridium tetanus spirochet syphilis that is the primary and uh, secondary syphilis we use and uh, this is the main indication except this one we can also use some other bacteria but as i said that we have a huge antibiotic so all antibiotic have the different main characteristics to the each other that's why the main indication we use the penicillin nowadays that is the this, this is the main indication now let's uh, move on the uh, side effects usually penicillin is the very very safe drug the group of the penicillin i mean the penicillin all group is a very safe drug but obviously side effects can be there if you use is depend upon the body to body person to person and the amount of the drug so side effects first in a local side effects what the local side effects first of all as i said the pencil g is the very painful injection so pain obviously where is the injected the injection after that thrombophilovitis can be occur thrombophilovitis why because it's a very we can say uh, bulky molecule or very very we can say viscous molecule that's why it will not easy to uh, if we give the intramuscular so it will not easy to spare to all over the the surrounding area it, it can very easy to spread easy to we can say um, the surrounding area will go and that's why thrombophilovitis can be occur if is it also may be depend upon the the way to inject it or way to like which angle they giving the injection it's a deep intramuscular or not deep intramuscular it depend upon also that cases after that this is the local uh, irritancy local if we talk about the particular cns what kind of cns it's a very poor penetrate um, blood brain barrier but whatever they penetrate what could be the main uh, effect in cns mental confusion mental confusion after that the another one is the muscular twitching muscular twitching then obviously nausea and vomiting is a common side effect but also uh, uh, this is all side effects as i said that's a very safe drug but this all side effects is depend upon the dose of the drug if you very high dose can be but in rare uh, rare condition then convulsion and finally coma but very very rare this about the cns bleeding can be occur bleeding can be occur why bleeding because of in high doses and prolonged uses it's interrupt the platelet function so due to the interruption of the platelet interruption of the platelet then any antibiotic if you talk about the side effect that is a common side effect any antibiotic hepatotoxicity nephrotoxicity hypersensitivity these are the common side effects to all antibiotic that's what this thing to remember another side effect that is the very very we can say the main common side effect of the penicillin usually this is the mainly seen in the penicillin that is the allergic approximately out of the 10% the 10% of the people have 
penicillin resistance and mainly procan penicillin resistance why because you can remember that the ester drug of the local anesthesia procan is the mainly allergic if you talk about the allergic uh, local anesthetic drug that is the procan so one is the procan obviously it's an allergic uh, anesthetic drug and uh, another thing that the penicillin by itself also the allergic drug so they both can be suspect the allergic reactions so what how we can um, avoid or how we can uh, check the the person have allergy first of all before the giving penicillin the main therapeutic dose we should give for example the main therapeutic dose is the let's talk about the uh, 10 ml or let's hypothetically think 10 ml but before the you don't know about the any patient uh, for example the new patient came to our clinic to your clinic and we uh, and we don't know you don't know that the penicillin have uh, the person have penicillin resistance i mean the penicillin allergy or not so on the time first we can give one or two ng and then we should wait at least for to eight hour or maybe more and then after that we should ask the patient that have any allergic reaction have any itching to see the person's activity any blood pressure tachycardia or any confusion any uh, uh, we can say vomiting and nausea any any complication any medical health complication is there after taking the medicine if they say no any complication then we can start the person have don't have any allergic reaction okay so allergic reactions what could be allergic reaction how skin rash skin rash then uh, angioedema then redness of eye and sometime anaphylactic shock also anaphylactic shock so we can say the main side effects of the we can say popular side effect of the penicillin this is the main popular side effect even a low dose it can be occur about the nephrotoxicity about the neurotoxicity and and some other side effect like throm uh, thrombocytopenia occur due to the bleeding it can be rare it will not occur in every patient but this reactions can be seen even a normal dose can be in every patient after that if you give the intrathecal intrathecal injection but it, we don't use this one but you should know that what can be occur if you give the intrathecal so by mistake or if any did mistake during the giving the injection can be occur arachnoiditis arachnoiditis what is arachnoiditis that is the inflammation of the arachnoid matter and inflammation of the arachnoid matter it can damage the in some degenerative change in the spinal cord and due to this reason some movement disorder and some neurological disorder can be occur again very very rare because we didn't hear still that the penicillin use the intrathecal that's why but if you give this type of problem can be occur okay so these are the side effects main side effects about the contraindication usually penicillin is a very very safe drug but if any patients have severe anemia or maybe hemorrhagic problem hepatotoxicity or maybe epilepsy patient we should avoid this drug always we should avoid this drug after that these are the main side effect and one very very important side effects or very we can say exception side effect let's talk about this this is the very we can say complicated uh, very difficult to pronunciation it's a jarez hersheimer 
जर इज हर्सहाइमर रिएक्शन हर्सहाइमर जर इज हर्सहाइमर हर्सहाइमर रिएक्शन मे बी माई प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज नॉट गुड बट आई एम आई एम प्रोनाउंसिएटिंग जर इज हर्सहाइमर रिएक्शन एक्चुअली वॉट दिस रिएक्शन वॉट इज दिस दिस रिएक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द to any person who suffering from syphilis the, the person have syphilis and you give the penicillin but after the giving the penicillin the person have like fever myalgia and some severing and we can say oh, hyperthermia like they feel fever they feel weakness after the giving the uh, penicillin why this types of problem can be occur what is the main problem As we know that the Trypanosoma pallidum is the gram-negative bacteria, and gram-negative bacteria, we can say this is the endotoxin, because it have lipo another lipopolysaccharide that that's why endotoxin, and the gram-positive bacteria is exotoxin. So it have endotoxic shock. Due to endotoxic shock, they have this type problem after the start the treatment, the myalgia, fever, weakness, and some ex exacerbation of the some other uh, complications, some problem. This type of problem is named Jarez Hersmeyer reaction. What is this? Because as we know that the penicillin is the bactericidal action. So this is the Trypanosomiasis bacteria. But it's a spirochat, so we should make the. This is the spirochat bacteria, and we give the penicillin. Penicillin we give. We give the penicillin. And after the giving penicillin, the bacteria is destroyed. This is the a spirolytic effect. A spiro, because inside the bacteria for the human, obviously it's a toxic substance. No need to confuse. So after the destroying this bacteria, means the spirolytic destruction of the spirochete. So whatever toxic amount, whatever the genetic material, the toxic genetic material inside the bacteria, it's spread in the blood, and due to the spare spread in the blood. it can problem it can start the symptom that is the myalgia fever then uh, exer exacerbation of the some other lesion and uh, some pain due to this reason and this all process the particular medical term name is the jarez hersmeyer reactions this is the we can say exception or the one of the main uh, we can say exception side effects or whatever you think but this is the also side effects can be occur so this all about the uh penicillin about the contraindication i said you that which types of patient we should avoid after that indication i told you now let's discuss about the penicillin as resistance penicillin this is the note confusion as i said that those bacteria about the penicillin in jam we'll discuss separately but uh, now just think about that penicillin as resistance penicillin that those bacteria which releasing the penicillin is and the bacteria the gram positive gram negative bacteria also they releases but especially the staphylococcal staphylococcal this gram positive bacteria releasing the penicillin is so especially in the this types of disease whatever disease are uh, we can say start by the staphylococcal for example staphylococcal disease like the pharyngitis tetanus media rheumatic fever and uh, um, scarlet fever and some other disease of the uh, staphylococcal like staphylococcus aureus that is the for the uh, main responsible for the abscess and some uh, also in the uh, for the hospital infections so these types of diseases mainly we give penicillin resistance pen, uh, penicillin this is the main sensitive for the this type of uh, only for the staphylococcal diseases methicillin cloxacillin dicloxacillin oxacillin but methicillin nowadays we don't use why because of the the main huge side effect that is the hematuria and the main side effect is the interstitial nephritis due to this reason methicillin we don't use but this is the also the group of the uh, penicillin resistant bacteria because this is the more potent of the inhibiting of the or protecting of the beta lactam gene than the cloxacillin dicloxacillin and oxacillin but due to the side effects 
still we don't use nowadays we don't use viscop again only this drug is the helpful for the staphylococcal diseases not other bacterial diseases and one thing also one side it's a protect the beta lactam ring but in other side partially it also we can say protect or also uh, stimulate the penicillinase and the bacterial penicillinase that's why this ultra short acting at this drug is the if you give the alone by only give, you give the cloxacillin it will not well uh, we can say it uh, show the efficacy always we, we uh, use with the combination which type of combination we will use uh, discuss later so and the, except about the uh, we can we can say pharma uh, kinetic we uh, we use just given the empty stomach and we give oral form because it's a heat uh, sorry acid stable the rest the story like the penicillin so i think this all information about the penicillin group now we'll discuss about that what is the penicillinase first of all because penicillinase is the main nowadays the main uh, reason for the bacterial resistance so after the penicillinase we'll discuss about the extended spectrum penicillinase okay so this thing we'll discuss in the next session because it will uh, too bigger so till then take care and in next session we'll discuss about the penicillinase and extended spectrum penicillinase so thank you